So you go on vacation, you feel good, you look the best you ever looked, and you're ready to show off that beach bod. One to two weeks of binging on drinks and food and no gym go by, and you look like you got hit by a car and swallowed the airbag. You go home, your family doesn't recognize you, then you look at yourself in the mirror and say, what have I done? If this sounds like you, or you're afraid it would be you, then you're in the right place. Saves me a full day of eating while on vacation, as well as my top five tips that you can use to mitigate any damage on vacation. So, let's get into the video. It is breakfast time and I'm having a big fat bowl of absolutely nothing. When I'm away, I like to practice something called intermittent fasting and it's essentially when you skip breakfast and push your first meal anywhere from four to eight hours into the day. So if I woke up at 8 a.m., I wouldn't eat till noon or possibly four. You can really get as aggressive as you want with the fasting window. Uh, obviously during this time, you can drink things like water, sparkling water and black coffee. This is just a great opportunity for you to save calories for later on in the day when you're on the beach and you wanna have drinks, you wanna have like snacks and so on. Now, if you're someone who wakes up hungry and you can't imagine skipping breakfast, by all means, go and have breakfast. I highly recommend having a high protein breakfast, something with slow digesting protein like eggs, cottage cheese, Greek yogurt. It's just something that'll keep you full for a longer period of time. So the first thing I do every morning is I go for a long walk into town to get myself a cup of coffee, which leads me to tip number two, which is to walk as much as you possibly can. Walking can burn hundreds to thousands of extra calories throughout the day, which in turn means you can eat an extra hundred to a thousand calories per day, which can go a really long way. If you guys haven't seen my seven day transformation where I walked 25,000 steps, I'll link it right up here. The results are insane. It'll just show you how powerful walking can be. But if you guys are staying in a hotel or a resort and you guys have access to a gym, by all means, go to the gym. I highly recommend you get your workout session in really early in the morning when everyone else is asleep and you have no distractions. Because what happens if you leave it later on in the day, you might get drunk, activities might come up, you might get tired, you might just blow it off. So go in early and smash it. So it is just past 12 o'clock. I've been chilling on the beach for a bit and I'm kind of hungry now and I want a snack, which is leading me to tip number three, pack some protein powder with you. So generally what I do is I pack one scoop for every day that I'm here. I'm here for six days, so I pack six scoops. Finding a high protein snack option, especially on holiday, is extremely difficult. I know on the islands of the Bahamas, if I ask for a protein shake, they're gonna think I'm mental. So bringing my own protein powder can help me get a good chunk out for my day. Side note, don't buy vanilla flavored protein. Maybe go for like a chocolate or a mocha, white powder, Ziploc bag, airport security. Doesn't really go hand in hand. If you don't know what I'm saying, watch Narcos, you'll know exactly what I mean. So I'm gonna have this now, and I'll see you guys at the next meal. As you guys can see, I got the jerk chicken wrap with a side salad. It usually comes with fries, but I swapped it out because I got the margarita. A quick little switch can go a long way. So I'm gonna enjoy this. Let me just take a bite for the camera. I'm gonna try to. So it is 4.30, I had lunch around two o'clock. So it's time for another snack. I'm gonna be having a big bowl of Greek yogurt and some frozen fruit. Again, very high in protein, moderate carb, and very, very low in fat. That's kind of like what I shoot for in a snack on a holiday. Probably my next meal is gonna be dinner time. I'm gonna enjoy myself, probably have whatever I want because I have a lot of calories saved up. So that's typically what I do. I usually have like my big, big meal late at night. That's typically when I have my biggest uh, appetite. Now I know it's a little bit different for me because I have my own place I'm staying at, but if you guys are at a hotel or a resort, getting Greek yogurt and fruit is very, very easy and I'm sure most buffets would probably have this as an option for you. So that's gonna do it for the snack. If I eat anything else, I'll make sure to show you guys. Other than that, I'll see you guys at dinner. Yeah, so I don't know if you guys can hear me right now with like the waves going, but you know, I was talking about walking earlier. If you wanna take walking to a whole other level, Go for a beach walk. It will put you guys to shame. It is the ultimate cardio and it will build your calves if you're struggling to build your calves. I'm just throwing it out there. Beach walks are next level. Excuse me, sir. Oh, okay. All right, see you, buddy.
So for appetizer, I got fish fingers. I didn't know fish had fingers. But well, they fit, but anyway. Um, so yeah, fish fingers for appetizer. Tip number four, focus on protein. Find high protein options on the menu. Um, this sauce, we say no, okay? We don't put that on. We put lemon, okay? Just like that. And then here, a bite. Mm. Okay, so I'm gonna eat this. Shouldn't talk with your mouth open. And then I'll show you guys what I get for my entree. So I basically just realized my phone had a light. <laughs> so for the entree, I got tuna, another lean source of protein, and white rice, another good source of carbs. So I'm gonna enjoy this. And uh, yeah, I don't know if it's gonna be my last meal of the day, but I'll let you guys know. Absolutely hated it. So I'm back from dinner now, it was really good, and I kinda want something sweet, so I'm gonna have this Klondike mint chocolate chip bar and a coffee and watch a movie, and that's gonna do it for this whole day of eating. And I kinda wanna finish off with my last and final tip, which is just to relax, you're on vacation, enjoy yourself. Know it, you're not gonna be perfect, it's not gonna be like you are back at home, but make the best with what you got. There's no point in really stressing on things that you can't change, so the only thing you can really do is make good decisions and don't overdo it. Uh, you know, like one week won't kill you, but if you go away for like two weeks to a month and you just go off the wagon, like it could cause some damage. So just be smart about it. And uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next video.